Now we've got a question here. We need to find the residues of this function here. Pi times the cotangent of pi times z divided by z cubed. Now the residues of this function are be going to be found where this function becomes non-analytic. So let's have a look at that. So we've got f of z equals pi times cotangent of pi times z and then we divide that by z cubed. So where is this function undefined? Now we know that when z equals zero this function becomes non-analytic so therefore we've got simple poles at the point where z equals zero and the simple poles are of order three because we've got to the power of three in that denominator. Okay, so in order to find the residues, we can't find any derivative because the derivative of z cubed is 3z squared and at z equals zero, that is also zero. So that method is not going to work. So we need to find a method where we can plug in z equals zero and find an answer. So one method we could do here is maybe use Taylor series or Lorentz series. That is probably the best way we can go here. So let's have a look at that. So let's have a look at Laurent series. So, and if we're interested in the point where z equals zero, so at z equals zero, we have got cotangent of z. So taking that into a, a Lorentz series, we've got one over z minus one third of z and then minus one over 45 z cubed. Now the next term, as we're dividing by z cubed, we might as well put that in. We've got minus nine, sorry, minus two over 945 times z to the five. And then we can keep going on and on forever. So the next term will be z to the seven. So I'm gonna use big O notation, O z to the seven. That is a term where we know it goes on forever. And the next term is z to the seven. Okay, so we've got cotangent z, but we've got here cotangent pi times z. So now wherever we see a z, let's plug in a pi next to it as a multiple. So cotangent of pi times z, that equals, so one over z pi. So I'll put the, co the coefficient first, pi z minus one third pi z. So I'm gonna put the pi in the numerator of the fraction there, minus, now here we've got a z cubed, so our pi will now become cubed. So one over 45 z cubed, but now I'm gonna put a pi cubed in our numerator, and then minus two times nine over 45. Now we've got uh, z to the five here, so now we need to put in pi to the power of five next to that. and then divide that by 945 and z to the five. Okay, now we need to find pi times cotangent pi z. So let's multiply this up by pi. So we're doing all the steps here. So if we make a mistake, we can see where that comes in. Okay. So I'm just going to write in the extra pi's in here. I'm not going to simplify with this pi here. I'm just going to put the pi in so we can see the step. So pi over pi, we know that is one. And then that's divided by z. That's in the denominator. These ones here are all uh, multiples. 
minus, okay, multiply this by pi, pi squared over three times z. Multiply this one by pi, pi to the four over 45 z cubed. And then this one, multiply this one by pi, minus two pi to the six over 945 z to the five. And again, we know it goes on forever. Okay, now our final goal is to divide by z cubed. So now we've got pi over z cubed multiplied by cotangent pi z. Okay, divide this by z cubed. So we need to increase this power. So we'll simplify this off. So that still becomes a one. And now z times z cubed, that gives us z to the four. So that's our denominator. Same with here. Now we need to divide this one by z cubed. So that's minus pi squared over three. Now, if you imagine doing a divided by z cubed, we'll be left with a z squared in the bottom. So that's that one. Same again, divide this by z cubed. Let's do that again so we can see what we're doing. So minus pi to the four over 45 z cubed time divided by z cubed, that just gives us one. So that now stays as a constant. And then divide this one by z cubed. So now we've got two pi to the power of six divided by nine, four, five. That's our coefficient. Now we're gonna have a z squared and that's gonna be part of our analytic part of the Lorentz series. So that's two pi to the six over nine, four, five. And then multiply that by z squared. Okay, so now we've transferred that into a Lorentz series. So this is an important part here. So that's what we're interested in. Now, the next thing we need to do is to find the residue of a Lorentz series. So the residue uh, of a Lorentz series So that's found at where we've got z to the power of minus one. Or one over z. Now it's the coefficient. So we need the coefficient. Okay. Now, z to the power of minus one, if you look at our Lorentz series here, you'll see there is no z to the power of minus one. So therefore, we can write our answer up here. So our residue of our function f, as we've noted this as our function, at zero. So that's where the poles were. So that's our terminology for our answer. So the answer to this is going to be zero because there is no one to the zero in here. So that is our answer. Okay.